In this video, we're going to discuss the soft selection options available within geometry mode. Let me start off by importing a special brush. So I'm going to go to import, and I have wall.ase. And as soon as I open this up, we're going to get our import brush. Let's just leave it at the default and click OK. And if I select my red builder brush, it's going to update so that we can see what we have. And really all we're looking at is a simple wall brush that has a lot of vertices. And those many vertices are really going to be the key to showing off how soft selection is working. So let's pop into geometry mode, and I'll jump over to vertex. Uh, selection mode. Now you can use soft selection with more than just uh, vertices, but vertices are really going to help us drive the point home, so that's what we'll be using for this demonstration. Let's go ahead and check the enabled checkbox, and this will activate soft selection. And now as soon as I select a vertex, you'll notice if you look really closely that we have sort of a uh, gradient of color radi ranging from bright red down to black across all of our vertices. So the actual vertex that we selected is bright red. Those radiating out from it go from a brilliant red down through darker shades of red all the way down to black. And what this uh, tells you is the amount of influence that our translation is going to have. And just to show that off, I'm going to grab my translation widget and pull these vertices off to the side and notice we get this sort of stretching of our effect. Now, just a quick catch about that. If I hit Control Z, you'll notice that I don't get uh, I don't get the opportunity to undo this. So, in this particular case, I would need to exit geometry mode by going back into camera mode, and then we would need to re-import this brush if we wanted the original shape back. So, let's just go ahead and go to Import Wall.ase, click OK, and then if we refresh our Red Builder brush, we go back to exactly what we had. Now let's go back into geometry mode for just a minute and uh, take a closer look at what we have here. First off, we uh, saw the enabled checkbox, which turns on this effect. Next, we have a radius. And this is a spherical radius, which grows out from the selection that you have made. So currently it's set to 500 units. I could set this to, say, 128 units. And we'll grab, say, this little vertex here at the uh, center of the wall. And now as I slide this up, you can see that the uh, radius of influence doesn't go out as far. You can also see with the, uh, the coloration of the selected vertices, you can see how the influence coloring is dropping to black, but then outside of that range, the vertices go back to a bright red color. So you can kind of see a preview of that area. So you can see where the vertices kind of end for that soft selection and where you completely fall outside of the area of influence. That's right. You get an idea of that drop off. So let's go ahead and jump over to edges, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll grab an edge here and let's just see uh, how well this is working. So it looks like the soft selection actually isn't going to be working with uh, anything other than vertices, which is totally cool because, to be honest, in most cases, if you have a brush where soft selection will actually work, that generally means that your brush is too complex to be used for BSP in your level anyway, though perhaps you will come across the occasional instance where this will be useful to you. So let me go ahead and try this. If we rotate, yeah, you can start to get some cool shapes. But again, this would be the kind of brush that I would de uh, deem to be way too complex to actually create any real BSP with. But that is an overview of the soft selection option for geometry mode, and that will wrap up this video.